today I thought I'd do a uh, a little um, video on how to clone your hard drive if you're on a Mac. Now in Mac it's pretty easy you've got a few different options but um, I wish it was as easy in Linux but it isn't. Uh, Linux has clonezilla which is a little bit cumbersome um, there are several easy backup facilities but nothing really simple to clone your hard drive so I'm gonna go through if you're on a Mac and you would like to clone your hard drive as a as a safety precaution just in case something happened to your main operating system then I'm gonna show you how to clone your hard drive very easily now I'm using a program called super duper and you can download this online there is a free version and there is a full version that does um, require payment I do have the full version so in this case uh, all you have to do when you open super duper is tell it where your operating system is in this case it's on new Yosemite up here and it needs to know where you want to clone to so I want to clone to a, an external drive where I've created a partition called Yosemite now I used disk utility to create that partition uh, I went in I took my three terabyte Seagate backup and I created two petitions one is a media backup petition and the other is a clone of my hard drive from my operating system so I prepared this uh, petition ahead of time I uh, formatted it in Mac OS extended journaled uh, that is the uh, type of formatting you need to do in order to clone your hard drive using super duper so I'm going to close this utility now I went through and I cloned my complete hard drive from scratch and it took me 53 minutes but now if I want to uh, let's say I want to clone it again once a week it will only update the target drive which is here my backup drive it'll only update according to the changes that have taken place since the last backup so since I backed this up about an hour ago uh, not a whole lot has happened and so if I were to back up now it would not take very long in my estimation I did it um, and it was about six minutes so when you first make your first clone your first backup of course it takes longer because it copies every file and that's why you would select backup all files from the menu but when you do subsequent backups you're going to select smart update and I'll show you that um, now that I've created my backup from now on I'm still going to repair permissions because that is a good idea but I'm going to use smart update now smart update as it says here will copy and erase what's needed to make Yosemite identical to your selections from new Yosemite the result will mi mimic erase then copy but will typically take a fraction of the time so it's only going to it's going to analyze the both disks and only copy over what has changed and it'll make a mirror image of the disk again now on, su on successful completion you can do nothing you can restart from Yosemite you can set Yosemite a startup disk so you've got a lot of different options on successful completion normally I leave it on do nothing it just tells you that the backup was done successfully and then you can close out the program so if I were if I wanted to do a subsequent backup right now 
I would make sure that I'm copying from my internal operating system. So you need to make sure that's the disk you want to copy from. And then you need to tell it where to copy to. And you want to be always extremely careful when you're selecting these. Now, if I said copy now, it would ask for a password before it copied. So there are several safeguards in place uh, before it actually goes ahead and copies. Now, it, let's say something went wrong with your, uh, your internal hard drive, your main operating system. What you would do is you would start your Mac, hold down the option key. That would bring up a screen allowing you to select which drive to boot off. You would at that point select your external, your Yosemite. It would boot off that. Once it boots up, it will open super duper. And then you would restore your original drive by reversing these two. You would copy from Yosemite to New Yosemite. Okay? So it's very easy to recover from a problem. So I can't emphasize enough the need to back up and the need to uh, to preserve all of your photos, your videos, all of your important documents. You've got everything in your life more than likely stored on your computer and it's important to be able to get at that. Uh, you hear so many horror stories about people who lose everything because they didn't back up. So make sure you back up and in my case, I take it one step further. I, I back up my home petition on uh, my Mac. So I, I use a, a standard backup uh, for my home petition, which you can do with SuperDuper. But I also create a clone. So that way, if disaster strikes, I can restore my internal hard drive, boot from it, and I am back to normal. So, guys, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I apologize I didn't have the little camera uh, going um, where you could see me, but um, in a Mac, that's not the easiest thing to do. I'm using QuickTime to make this video. So, uh, as, as always, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the, on the next video. Take care, guys.